topic which you are going to discuss here is hip files what is a hip file what are the different advantages disadvantages when you carry out some insert or say some delete or some query operations then what will be the complexities we shall discuss them all so let me go for point by point so rows are appended at the end of the hip file so whenever you are performing any kind of insert operation to a hip file then the new row will be appended at the end of the hip file and as they are inserted hence the file will remain unsorted so as the new record will get inserted always at the end of the file so the file will remain unsorted deleted rows create gaps in the file so whenever one row will get deleted then that will leave behind a blank space so file must be periodically compacted to recover the free spaces and it requires periodical compaction hip file performances assume the file containing f pages let us suppose we are having f number of pages in that respective file i think let us get a view of this particular file how the file will look like let us go for this diagram at first before going for the insertion and other operations so here you see here this this is the product id which is unique this is the product name and this is the product price we have written this one very arbitrarily so in the page 0 we are having say four products so each and every page will have the same size and each and every record must be stored to one of the pages so here the page 0 is containing four records here this is page 1 it is leaving a space blank for the third record here so here we are having three records here also in page 2 we will be having our two records it has left behind some blank spaces for another two records so there is page 0 to page 2 so this is a product details stored in a heap file so let us suppose we are having f pages as we are having here three pages so let us suppose we are having f number of pages so now we are considering inserting a row onto the heap file so what are the issues are there issues is access path is scan that means i shall have to scan access path is scan means i shall have to scan through the heap file to make one entry at the end of the heap file here the scan accessing means sequential accessing average f by 2 page transfers if row already exists or a plus 1 page transfers if row does not already exist so that indicates that if the row exists that if the new product which is going to be inserted that product id is pre existing in the heap file then the new product tuple will not get inserted so that's why that may require on the average a by 2 number of scans because the minimum scan will be one scan for the first page if i can get that particular id against a certain product record and we can have maximum f number of uh, searching because we are having f number of pages are there so on the average we will be having f by 2 on the average f by 2 page transfers if row already exists a plus 1 page transfers if row does not already exist so in that case what will happen we can insert this particular tuple at the last place that is quite common if the last page is having some free spaces then correspondingly we can insert the new tuple there otherwise we shall have to create a new page where this particular tuple will be inserted as a first tuple so that's why f plus 1 page transfers are required now let us start with the deleting a record from the heap file deleting a record from the heap file here the access path is scan that means i shall have to scan sequentially one after another all the tuples are to be scanned and then i may reach to the required tuple which is going to be deleted if successful searching is taking place otherwise in case of unsuccessful searching i shall not get the tuple so average f by 2 plus 1 page transfers are required if the row is pre existing otherwise f page transfers is will be required if the row does not exist so f now so i shall have to search up to the last page that is f number of pages are to be transferred if the file if the corresponding record is not existing 
which has been asked to be deleted otherwise on the average will be requiring a by 2 plus 1 number of page transfers. So, now we are going to discuss the query. Query means in this case here we will be executing the select operation that means I am reading some tuples from that particular database kept in the heap file. So, access path is scanned. So, here also the sequential access will take place. Organization is efficient if query returns all rows and order of the access is not important. If you write a query like select star from EMP, so EMP is the employee or here in this case select star from product. If the query is like this, then, the, then this particular organization of data is most suitable to execute those queries. And if the tuple ordering is not very important, then this particular organization is very important. Organization is efficient if the query returns all rows and order of access is not important. Organization is inefficient if a unique row is requested. Let us suppose there is one query on this particular uh, product table that is select star from product where product ID is equal to P100. So, in those cases whenever you are searching for a unique tuple uh, having some where clause in your query in those cases this organization is inefficient I shall have to scan the full F number of pages in that case. Organization is inefficient if subset of the rows are requested all F pages are to be read in that case. Let us suppose we are considering one query that is select star from product where product price is greater than or equal to 500 and less than or equal to 1500. So, in this cases we are requesting for those products which are the subset of the all products available. In those cases this organization is inefficient because there also we are supposed to have f number of page transfers because we are having f number of pages are there in maximum. So, in this case you see for the insertion for the deletion for the query execution what are the respective complexities how many page transfers are to be done we have discussed that one into details. So, if file is a data organization is a data file organization with the help of which we can store our database in the form of these heap files onto the physical storage. And this is the diagram a sample diagram where we have shown that how our product details how your product details can be kept in a heap file. Thanks for watching this video.